so what's up? Today's video is so exciting. So many things are happening in today's video. I am so excited. So for the past few years, I have been doing a best of ColourPop video. I've been doing this once a year, actually. It's been like more than a year since my last best of ColourPop video. I don't know where the time goes. But I always like to make these videos at least once a year and give you updates on my favorite products at ColourPop because you guys know ColourPop launches something every five minutes. So although I am a huge creature of habit and you will see today, I have a lot of the same favorites. It is getting constantly changed and updated because ColourPop is just coming out with new stuff all the time. So I have been getting so many comments from you guys telling me to do this video. So here it is. We are going to be talking about my all time favorite ColourPop products. but. But before I do that, I have an announcement to make. The first one is ColourPop now offers the Zodiac palette in single eyeshadows. And look how adorable. You guys have to see the actual packaging. It's so adorable. Look at this. Tell me this isn't adorable. I this is my favorite part. The Virgo is my favorite. Look how cute she is. Look at that little maiden girl looking all innocent and pure. I love the packaging. This is Pisces. The actual packaging has the really pretty design from the Zodiac palette. And this is just so exciting. This is Taurus. I, I seriously love the freaking packaging. So that's really exciting. You can get that now. It does launch today when you're watching this video. 10 a.m. PST to be exact. And then the other thing. I have been working on blushes with ColourPop for a few months now, and they are finally ready. It is finally here. They launched today. Not this. These are highlights. But I have been secretly wearing these blushes in my videos for a while now, and I've been kind of giving you guys some sneak peeks here and there. These four blushes are now available on ColourPop's website, and I want to go through the four blushes before I go into my ColourPop must-haves. When ColourPop launched their powder blushes, I wasn't crazy about their blush selection. Like, the colors that they have now, I I really love Tulip to Quit. That's my favorite one. But even then, I always wish they had a few different colors. So when they gave me the opportunity to make them, I got really excited. So since this was launching with my little Zodiac singles, the little unicart and it comes in is really, really cute. I just don't have it with me to share it with you guys because I'm a fool and I accidentally threw mine out. But I'm going to insert a picture. It is really, really cute and dreamy. I love it. But I am going to go through the colors really quick because I know why you're really here. It's not for these blockchains, but... The two really, really natural ones are my favorite ones, of course. But this one is called Lunar Has It. <laughs> like, rumor has it, but Lunar. <laughs> and this is the matte one in the bunch. And even then, it's not super matte. It has a really yummy, creamy consistency. And it doesn't have any sheen to it. It has, like, this really buttery satin finish. And it doesn't look flat or really matte and dusty on the cheeks. It looks really, really beautiful. And I love that it's a really warm nude. It kind of has, like, a peachy vibe. I'm obsessed <laughs> with it. My second favorite one is actually the one I'm wearing on my cheeks right now. This one is called I Need a Space. This is the perfect Aquarius name because I don't know about you Aquarius is out there, but I, I need space. Definitely personal space. Like I don't like to be in close, like I just need space, all right? I just need space. And this is the blush that actually started this whole thing because I really wanted to make a blush version of the eyeshadow, the Libra. They are very, very similar. The only thing is that the blush is a little bit more wearable on the cheeks because the eyeshadow has a little bit of a white undertone and we took that off for the blush. So it's a little bit more natural and I love, love, love this shade. Like I said, it's the blush I'm wearing on my cheeks right now. It's so elegant and pretty. Next up, we have my sun and stars. We all love Game of Thrones, even though I'm not cut up <laughs> at all. I mean, I know how it ends, but I was not cut up. Anyway, this blush is really beautiful. It's the blush I'm wearing later on in the video when I'm doing the lip swatches. This is a really gorgeous, like, corally, peachy pink that has a ton of golden shimmer all throughout it, but it's not glittery on your cheeks. It looks like a sheen, which is what I love. I don't mind a shimmer in a blush as long as it's sheeny and not glittery. And this one gives that beautiful, beautiful sheen, especially if you have a dewy foundation on. Oh my gosh, this on top of a dew, it is beautiful. And then this is my summertime fine, delicious, burnt, yummy oranginess. This color is called So Retrograde and I love this. This is perfect for the summertime if you're into that hot, tan, JLo-esque vibe. This looks so beautiful dust it on top of your bronzer on top of your blush I kind of use this as a blush topper it just looks so gorgeous and golden on the cheeks I love it it is very very intimidating especially when you swatch it but when you use a light hand it just looks 
so glowy and beautiful. But anyway guys, those are the four blushes. You can get them today. And I have been wearing them nonstop. I can't get enough of blush these days. And now that we are here, besides Tulip to Quit, those are my four other favorite blushes ColourPop has. At least in powder form. I actually don't have any of the cream blushes to talk about in today's video because since I just got them, I've only been playing around with them for a little while because I've been using these blushes so much. So I want to use them a lot more before I tell you like, oh, this is my favorite. So maybe in my next year's <laughs> ColourPop must have video. Okay, so just like last year's best of ColourPop video, we are having a sale on all of my favorite products. That's right. If you go on the ColourPop website, you will see that all of these products are going to be discounted for you guys. It's like a huge sale. We did this last time I did this video. We had a coupon code and everyone really enjoyed it and you guys were able to save money on my favorite products, which is amazing. And we are doing that for you guys again today. Only this time you don't need a coupon code. It's just a sale. Like when you go on the website, you will see it. I love that they do this for you guys because it's honestly like the best of the best, but discounted. I'm so excited. So we all know I talk a lot and I don't want this video to be too too long. I'm gonna try to breeze through the products as fast as I can. I'm probably gonna be talking about things a little bit quicker than I normally would just so that I can get everything in. I also have lip swatches of all the lip products I'm talking about today because I feel like that's a lot more helpful for you guys and then I'm also swatching everything else on my hand. So without further ado let's jump in. Okay, so the first product I want to talk about is the ColourPop No Filter Stick. They have their original no filter foundation that comes in the liquid form, but I 100% prefer the stick. It's the foundation I'm wearing on my skin right now. I love how natural and lightweight this is. It doesn't give you a super dewy finish, but it's not matte. And I really like the coverage. It's not too much, but it covers enough. I love how it feels, and I like that it's so so easy to blend out. You can apply this foundation in like five seconds. It's definitely my favorite foundation stick that's under $10. It's really, really nice. I definitely prefer this over their liquid. Their liquid is not my favorite. This one is awesome. I also have to give a huge shout out to the shade Deep Dark 190C. I've talked about this a million times on my channel, but this is one of my favorite cream contour. I love that it's a foundation, so I feel like it kind of adds coverage and it doesn't really take away from my foundation. Even though it's very, very warm, I like to cream bronze with this in the summer. I'm wearing it today underneath a powder bronzer, but it just blends so well and just like so easily. Like I love it so much. I use it even more than I use the foundation. I love it. I also want to give a huge shout out to the No Filter Concealer. I love this. It gives you a really matte, flawless finish underneath the eyes, but it's not too drying and it's not too cakey. It kind of like fills in the pores. It's really, really nice. And I love using this as foundation as well. I honestly think this formula is way better than the actual foundation in the bottle. This is all the foundation you need, just a couple dots all over your face and blend it out. And it's so freaking beautiful as foundation. I love this. I really, I don't use it quite as much as I should because it is really, really good and flawless and cheap. Okay, so when I think of bronzers, ColourPop is not the first brand I think of. Not because I don't like their formula. I just really haven't found a shade I truly love besides this one. This is the one that I always go back to. I mean, I've used it so much. This is the bronzer in the shade Private Party, and it's the bronzer I'm also wearing on my skin right now. I love this because it's a cool tone bronzer that has a really beautiful sheen. So it kind of gives you the best of both worlds. I feel like it contours, but also gives you a nice glow at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. It's definitely my favorite and my go to from the brand. Okay, so for blush, besides the ones I told you about earlier, of course, I also really love their Super Shock blush in the shade Get Laid. I just cannot find it anywhere. I actually have two products that went missing, but I cannot find that blush anywhere. I will put a picture. I'm not crazy about the Super Shock blushes. I feel like they're a little bit hard to apply sometimes, but that shade in Get Laid, there's just something about it. I Love that color. For highlights though, I do have quite a few highlights I really, really love from ColourPop. Of course, we all love and adore the Super Shock highlights. I feel like this formula is just so unique, so amazing. I honestly think you can't go wrong with any of the shades you pick from the Super Shock highlights, but these three are my favorites. Obviously, of course, I love Fire and On the Cusp. They're the ones I created. But besides those, Flexitarian is the ultimate Super Shock highlight. It is so reflective, it's so intense. It's definitely the most intense highlight I have in my entire collection, like my entire collection. If you want somebody to see you from not, not only across the room, but like from across the yard, from across the building, 
you need this highlight. It is reflective, wow. Honestly, that Super Shock formula just can't be beat. It's what makes ColourPop so cool. I don't know, I love it. But if you are looking into powder highlights, I do have a few that I really love. First off, the Gimme More Highlighting Palette is my favorite highlighting palette from ColourPop. I know they had the Innurendo, and I spoke about that one a lot too, but Bigger and Better is my favorite highlight that they've ever created. This highlight right here. Out of all the powder highlights I'm going to talk about today, none of them compare to Bigger and Better. This has been my favorite highlight from ColourPop ever. It's just so buttery and so reflective and it's actually a dupe for a NARS highlight that I used to love, only that got discontinued, but this is an actual dupe for it. It's so beautiful. I think this entire palette is worth it just for that highlight alone. I freaking love this. But I also really, really love these two highlights as well. I love this one so much because it reminds me of Here Kitty Kitty. If you've been watching me for a while, you'll know that that was actually my favorite highlight from ColourPop. And this one is very similar. They're almost duped for one another, but this one is even more foiled and even more reflective on the cheeks. I like this one even more than Here Kitty Kitty. Oh, by the way, this is called Padded Down. It's such a beautiful reflection highlight that just really catches the light that one is very very special I love it and then I also really like dreamscape if you're very very fair this one is beautiful as well actually I'm wearing both of these on my cheeks right now they're just kind of mixed with each other as for brushes from ColourPop these are definitely my favorite favorite brushes the f13 is so freaking fluffy and soft I use this in so many ways to contour to powder I just I love this brush it's heavenly really is. <laughs> and then the small fluff brush is my favorite blush to highlight brush to highlight with. It really makes your cheekbones pop. I love this brush. Okay, let's talk about some eye products. The ColourPop Super Shock Shadows are where it's at. Like honestly, this is where it's at. This is what made ColourPop ColourPop, I feel. They have the most unique formula. If you've never tried a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow, what are you waiting for? They're the best. Once you get the hang of it, they're so easy. You can use a brush or your finger and you get full on pigmentation just on one swipe, no matter what eyeshadow it is, you won't be disappointed by a Super Shock Shadow. And although I have a million that I'm not gonna talk about in today's video, I have so many favorite Super Shock Shadows, oh my God. We would be here for hours <laughs> if I were to talk about all of them. I am gonna talk about a few that I really, really love. Of course, Waddles, this is like my favorite Super Shock Shadow. It's such a beautiful, everyday, pinky nude. I don't even know how to describe this shade. It's just like a, a natural color that looks beautiful all over the lid. I also really love Degaff. This is the one that I'm wearing in my lip swatches later on in the video. I love Super Shock Shadows because I kind of use them as like an eyeshadow topper or as like a one and done eyeshadow look. So I'll just grab this eyeshadow, throw it all over my lid, blend it out in the crease and then go out the door and it just always works. Especially with shades like this that are really really packed with a ton of shimmer and glitter. This color reminds me so much of the Dose of Colors Block Party Shadow in Encore. Those eyeshadows are like $22 each. And this one is so, so similar. It's absolutely beautiful, just like padded on the entire lid. And the same goes for Lightning Bug. Oh my gosh, I love Lightning Bug. This one's really beautiful because it's kind of like a peachy copper, but it has silver glitter all throughout it. So it just looks so unique and beautiful on the lids. And then, I know. And then this one in the shade Ritz is one of my favorites to just dust over any eyeshadow. I'm actually wearing it on top of my eyeshadow today. I'm wearing the Sagittarius single shadow in my crease and on my lower lash line. On my lower lash line I have something else on top but I have the Sagittarius. And then I have the Scorpion pigment all over my lid which is like that burgundy color you see everywhere. But on top of that I took a little bit of the shade Ritz on my finger. Let me zoom you in. And I just lightly patted this all over my eyes. Just love how this color layers on anything. So that one is definitely a huge, huge favorite of mine. I also really love this shade Frog. It's very similar to Ritz in the sense where I kind of use it as an eyeshadow topper, but it has little shimmering blues and pinks and it's kind of like multicolored and it gives me a little bit of like a unicorn vibe. So I like to use this one kind of like in the center of my lid as like a little halo effect. And then these two are a little bit more colorful. I don't really use these as eyeshadow toppers like I do the other ones, but Moonwalk is one that's a little bit newer to me and I have been loving this shade. This is a really pretty simple eyeshadow look if you just 
just add something in the crease. I like to put the Taurus in the crease and then this all over my lid and it's just so pretty. It looks a little bit brown, blue, and green. It's just really unique but very simple but colorful. And then this one in the shade Don't Leave. I love using this on my lower lash line like a pop of pink. It's what I have on top of the Sagittarius shade. I love this. It also is really pretty all over the entire lid. I don't use this color that often but I just had to mention it because it's one of my favorite shades. I just think it's so freaking pigmented and vibrant and absolutely beautiful. Speaking of pigmented, I have to mention the pressed pigment in the shade. Ooh, because I freaking love this. The other day I was wearing these like really neon biker shorts and they were the same color as this. I wanted an eyeshadow look that was just really neon like the whole thing and I popped this on my lid and I just love this color. It is exceptionally neon. It's super orange, super intense and I just wanted to mention it because I also do really like their pressed pigments. If you're looking into those, I love them especially, ooh. The ColourPop Loose Pigments are also really, really nice, if I do say so myself. Not to be confused with the Loose Glitters, I don't love those so much. Those are the new ones that just recently came out. I 100% prefer the Loose Pigments. And then I do want to give a huge shout out to the Jelly Much Eyeshadows because I feel like the Jelly Much shadows are very underrated. And even me, I don't really use them all that much. But whenever I do, I'm always like, man, why don't I use these more often? The formula is really tricky, but once you get the hang of it, it is really beautiful. They're very, very hard to blend. And once they set, they set. So if you put something on your lid, you want to blend it out immediately. Like, immediately in order for you to really blend it out because if not you will have a harsh line and it will stay there but these colors specifically look so beautiful all over the lid that I just take my time and I blend it and I, I just I'm crazy about these four shades I love them so much this one is my favorite one this is once in floral it's so pretty it's like a burnt rose color that when you move your eye around it has a really strong like orange undertone it's really really gorgeous and then foxes is a stunning ultra metallic yellow gold that's not too yellow it has like an orange undertone it's so freaking intense but it's so incredibly eye-catching like if you want to do a bronze eye and have this like right in the center oh my gosh this is insane and then this one in whistling pixie is one of those one and done shadow looks you just blend this out with your finger you blend it out in the crease with your finger and then boom you have like a super beautiful glittery, just gorgeous look to the eyes. I love it. And then I also really, really love No Rest for the Vivid. This one is very out there and very random and different from the other three shades. But ever since I used this on Jordan in our blindfolded makeup challenge, I have been in love with it. It's definitely my favorite pinky blue eyeshadow that I've ever had. This one lasts the longest, it looks the most intense, and it's just so incredibly vivid. I love it. So when it comes to pressed powder shadows, I personally just recommend getting an eyeshadow palette for yourself. I just think you save a lot more money than if you were to go and buy individual eyeshadows from ColourPop. Even though their single shadows are really amazing, so are their palettes and like I said, you save money. Obviously, Dream Street and the Zodiac are my favorite. But if I had to pick three other palettes from ColourPop that I use all the time and I love and adore, I would say it's these three. This is a classic. This is like an OG. This is the Yes Please palette. It's very similar to that warm Natasha Denona palette. You have a lot of dupes in here. And even though it's a very 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 warm eyeshadow palette I find it to be very wearable and I love it one that is a little bit more wearable than that one I will say is the sweet talk palette this is a newer obsession of mine if you're into peachy warm eyeshadows you will absolutely love this one I love that you have two glitters you have a super shock shadow formula in here and then you just have so many delicious warm shades and I just, I love I love this palette, it's so, so good. If you aren't so much into peaches but you're more into like cranberries and browns like this, you will love Give It To Me Straight. It's one of those palettes that you can use every single day. You have a few warm shadows, you have a few cool toned ones, and it's just a perfect palette. If you are placing an order at ColourPop.com and you don't buy any of the eyeliners, I'm gonna fight you. <laughs> ColourPop makes the best eyeliners in the world. High end, low end. I love the Marc Jacobs ones, those are my favorite. But these are half the price, if that. I think they're even more affordable than that. And they're almost as good. They glide on, they are buttery, they are pigmented, and they last forever. I cannot ask for a better eyeliner at this price. I honestly can't. My two favorite ones of coats are Mr. Bing, 
and Overboard. There's something about this shade Overboard that really just tickles my fancy. I love how it looks just smudged on the lashes. It's amazing, but I do recommend all of them in general. So good. So while all of the ColourPop BFF mascaras are really good, I love that mascara. I'm wearing the mascara right now. The blue one, the shade Blue Ya Mind is my favorite. This is the best blue mascara, at least in my opinion. It's so blue. Two coats of this will leave your lashes so incredibly blue. It's the mascara I'm wearing on my lower lash line today, and I just love it. It's such a fun pop of color in a unique way. It's it's so good. If you haven't tried out blue mascara, at least try the ColourPop one. It's so good. Okay, now it's time for the longest part of this video, the lips category. ColourPop has so many different lip products and so many different formulas and finishes. It's a lot. But let's talk about some of my favorite ones. Really quickly, I want to talk about the So Juicy Plumping Gloss. I don't use this all the time, but every time I do, I just love how my lips look and I'm always like, man, I should use that gloss more often. Princess Cut is definitely my favorite one because it's just the regular clear shade and I love using this to really smooth out my lips and plump them up a bit and I love the glass-like finish the clear one gives me but I also really, really love Beechwood. There are a few I really love actually but Beechwood is so delicious. This makes your lips look really, really smooth. like. Just so juicy and quenched and I'm someone who suffers from very dry everything So my lips are very dry a lot of the times and this just makes my lips look so juicy I just realized that is the perfect name. These are so juicy So I just wanted to mention these because they're juicy and I love them The ColourPop lippy balms are also really good. This is something I don't really talk about all that much I do use them often, but the Coco Loco is my favorite one. It smells like coconut. It feels a lot like Vaseline. It's like an aquaphor, so it's very basic. But if you're already on the site and you're shopping for a few things and you want to try out the Lippy Balm and you're into coconut, Coco Loco is my favorite. Okay, let's talk about lip liners. Even though there are several, several lip liners from ColourPop that I love, these are my favorite, favorite ones. I will say, it doesn't matter what shade you get, I think all of the lip liners are really great. They're very creamy, they just glide on your lips. They're not the most long wearing lip liner of all time, but they are very comfortable and they're just so easy to use and I love them. The three BFF shades are my favorites. BFF one being my ultimate favorite. This is the lip liner I'm wearing today. I'm wearing other stuff on my lips as well, but this is the lip liner I used and I just love this shade. BFF two is also really nice if you want something deeper and then if you want something even deeper than that BFF 3 is amazing but I also really wanted to mention Hoopty because I use Hoopty a lot underneath my little star ultra matte lip or underneath really deep shades I love it because it depends on what lip color you're wearing but sometimes it'll look brown sometimes it'll look more burgundy I just really really love that shade and it's great for deeper colors let's talk about the ultra blotted lips because I feel like I feel like I was sleeping on these for a while and I just recently started absolutely loving them. My favorite one of all time is definitely Zuma, but I want to explain what these feel like if you've never tried an ultra blotted lip. This pretty much has the staying power of their ultra matte lips, but they have the most lightweight sheer finish. It's so freaking beautiful. It feels like nothing on your lips. It's paper thin. Zuma is definitely my favorite and this is the one I'm wearing on top of that lip liner. So I'm wearing the BFF1 lip liner and then I put Zuma on top and then I put the Aquarius lip gloss on top of Zuma. Just a little bit to add a little bit of a shine. But this by itself is beautiful and it kind of leaves a very satin, like silky finish to your lips. Even if you have dry lips, it leaves them looking very silky. It's so gorgeous, I love it. Another one I really love is Doozy. It's like a very deep pink, but because it has that sheer quality, it just looks so romantic and pretty on the lips. I absolutely love this color. And then I also really love Vitamin C. It's a little bit deeper, more brownish, more peachy. Really, really gorgeous. And then I also really love Sleepy Eyes as well, which is even deeper than Vitamin C. And it's just so freaking stunning. It also gives me like a really romantic vibe. I just love the finish of the ultra blotted lips. And I wanted to mention my favorite ones. And I think these are definitely worth checking out if you love a super lightweight, sheer lip color. They're beautiful. 
Let's talk about the ultra glossy lips because I have been loving gloss like more than ever recently and I have been using these lip glosses so so much so much that I've lost one one of my favorite lip glosses from Colourpop to ever exist is Champagne Mommy I lost it I have no idea where it is and I'm so bummed because I use it all the time you guys need Champagne Mommy it like lives in my purse it looks beautiful on any skin tone I love I love that gloss it's so beautiful but I also really really love these as well a lot of these are colors I created so I don't want to talk about them but I am gonna insert lip swatches but besides the colors I already created of course which are really beautiful and nude and delicious you should check them out <laughs> I also truly love fairy floss this is the perfect milky pinky nude and it just makes any lip color really milky like if you have a really deep nude on and you apply this on top it just creates a milky delicious nude and I love fairy floss so much and then this shade in pretty in Oh my god. There's something about this gloss that's very, very special to me. I, I don't know. It's very, very beautiful. It's very milky as well, but it just leaves your lips with this juicy pink effect. I, I don't know what it is about it, but I really, really love this shade. And then besides Champagne Mommy, I also don't know where my few lip gloss is. I love that lip gloss. It's so juicy as well, and I can't find that one either. Marisu, are you hiding my stuff? Okay, let's move on to ultra satin lips. Now, this is a huge category because I have so many that I love. And I'm actually not going to mention all the ones I love because ColourPop has so many and they're all so good. The ultra satin formula is my favorite formula when it comes to liquid lipsticks. Like, no matter what brand. I love that the ultra satin lips are very long wearing, but they aren't drying. And they don't create that really dry, crusty butthole mouth. They're just really really nice because it's not too matte but it's not like a glossy lip they're really good this one is the nudist this one is Aquarius and it's very very nude but it has a really pretty peachy undertone and I love it I also really love Alyssa if you want a very pinky bubblegum lip that's not like too bright and too in your face slow down is a color that was created by makeup Shayla here on YouTube and honestly this has become one of my favorite liquid lipsticks for ColourPop has ever, ever made. It's such a pretty nude, but it's very brown on me, which is what I love about it. It's like a brown nude, and it's so yummy and warm, and I cannot get enough. Calypso is another favorite of mine. Every single time I wear this shade, I get compliments, and I get asked what's on my lips. Like, it never fails. Whenever I wear Calypso, they ask me questions. Dreamy is a must-have, of course, if you're into these type of shades. It's like very salmon-y, but very wearable. I'm into it, <laughs> of course. And then I'm just going to insert lip swatches of the rest of these because these are my shades. But November, Point Zero, Lucky Star, and Hef are obviously some of my favorite liquid lipsticks from ColourPop. There's no denying that. They're a little bit more colorful than the other shades I've created, but they're so fun and so unique to me, and I love, love, love them. And then, like I said earlier, I have way more ultra satin lip favorites than I do ultra matte lip favorites. Even though I do love the ultra matte lip formula, nothing beats the satin. So I do have a couple to share with you. And also, I also lost Mama. Mama is like my favorite ultra matte lip from ColourPop. And where the heck is it? I have no idea. And I use that one all the time. But when it comes to the ultra matte lips, I definitely prefer deeper colors in this formula. Just because they wear nicer on the lips. This one in the shade Fuego is a recent favorite of mine. I love this. It's similar to Slow Down from Shayla, but it's even deeper. So if you want something even darker than that, this one is beautiful. I love Fuego. And then, of course, Little Star is one of those shades that I wear all the time. It's very deep, but it has a very wearable quality to it. It's burgundy-ish, and it's brownish, and it's just... I like it. And then I don't really wear the Ultra Metallics all that much, but these two I really do love. This is the one that Karen made. I love Sarai, and it's called Coquette, and I freaking love this. With like a deep red lip liner, this looks beautiful. Like for Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's Eve, it's just so eye-catching, especially if you have juicy lips like, like Karen. But even for me, I love wearing this color. And then this one in the shade three-way is really, really cool. And I only like using this like in the center. Or if I'm wearing a really dark purple lipstick or lip liner, I will put this on top. And it's just so multi-dimensional. It's really, really stunning, but not too metallic to where you look like frosty and alien-like. I really, really love this color. Okay, so when ColourPop launched the Luxe lipsticks, I was very excited. And 
And personally for me, I feel like you can't go wrong with the Luxe lipsticks. They resemble high-end lipsticks, honestly. My favorite finish, well I have two favorite finishes. I like the velvet blur finish and I also like the creme finish. The creme finishes are exactly how you would picture them. They're very creamy. My favorite one is What's Your Sign, obviously. Honestly, I know that all of my colors are my favorite, but this is my favorite nude lipstick ever. It's just so creamy and warm and I love this nude so much and it has that really beautiful creme finish and so does Scorpio Moon. I made both of them with that creamy finish because I just love how it wears on the lips and you don't get that like really drying, cracky effect with these. They're really good. All of their creme finishes I really like, but the velvet blurs are also absolutely beautiful. This one in the shade CA Love. I don't know if I'm supposed to pronounce that California love or Cal love or CA love. I don't know. I love this shade. I use it so much and I really love using it with my Pat McGrath lip liners. Like I'll throw on contour and then I'll just like dab this on my entire lips. And it gives a very similar effect to the ultra blotted lip to where it's very thin. It feels super lightweight and it honestly just looks like you really did blot your lips. It has like that velvety, silky finish and I love this shade. I also really, really, really love 21 Questions. It's another one of their velvet blurs and it's so pretty because it's kind of like that juicy reddish orangey color but it's very, very minimal, very subdued and it just looks so soft on the lips. I love the velvet blurs. I feel like if you try them out, you won't be disappointed, especially if you like that type of finish. But then I also think their matte finish is really, really nice. If you don't love the ultra matte lips because they're too matte, I would try out their matte lipsticks because they still give that matte effect without being too dry. This one in third eye is definitely my favorite out of their matte ones. It's similar to What's Your Sign, but it's definitely more pink. It's a little bit deeper, but I do really, really love this one. And then this one in Mind Trick kind of reminds me of their shade Mama, but a little bit more wearable, a little bit less intense, but it's still very, very eye-catching on the lips, and it's so stunning. This one is really, really nice for the summertime. It kind of reminds me of the MAC lipstick in So Shod, I believe that was the name. I was obsessed with that lipstick. This one reminds me of it. Okay, and then last but not least, we have the OGs here. These are the lippy sticks, and even though I love the satin lips, I love the luxe lipsticks, the lippy sticks are still really, really incredible. They're so pigmented. The lippy sticks honestly cannot be beat, and I truly, truly love them. Obviously, my favorite ones are Aquarius, Lumiere, and Taurus. Even though Lumiere and Taurus have a matte finish and Aquarius has a creme finish, the matte lippy sticks are not actually matte. They're a very creamy matte. They just don't have a shine to them, but they're very, very comfortable and very creamy, and I really, really like them. The other two colors that I love that are also in this matte formula are Grunge and Poison. Grunge is that perfect 90s lip. If you're into those 90s cool tone colors, this is it because it has a little bit of brown in there. It's just so grunge. I love the name and I love the shade. And then Poison is also really, really beautiful as well because it has a really, really deep undertone, but it just looks so beautiful. I love Poison. But then they also have the Matte X formula in the lippy sticks. And this is where it's at when it comes to a matte finish. These are definitely matte and they look very matte on the lips, but they are so comfortable. They almost have like a powdery finish to them. They feel like absolutely nothing on the lips. I love the Matte X formula. There's actually so many I love, but my top two at the moment are Ziggy and Who Run This. Ziggy is a little bit lighter. It has more of a brown undertone, but it just looks so matte and beautiful on the lips. I truly, truly love this Matte X formula. I think you can't go wrong no matter what shade you get. But Who Run This is also a really, really beautiful, deep reddish matte brown shade that's not too red, not too brown. It's like that perfect terracotta vibe. I love these two so much and I love this formula so much. But, oh my God, I think we're done. Wow, I, I've been talking so much. I feel like I need to drink some tea. And I gotta be honest, this isn't all of it. I have so many other things in my collection that I use and that I love and I adore, but I mainly wanted to talk about formulas here. I added colors, of course, and specific products because those are my top, top favorites, but I do have several other things that I love from this brand. This brand is just so great, and I feel like very rarely do they disappoint me, but these are my top dogs. These are my favorite, favorite products, and I really recommend 
all of them. And I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to check out my four new blushes that launched today. And also the cute new little Zodiac compacts that also launched today. Don't forget to also leave me a comment down below letting me know what your all-time favorite ColourPop product is. Like ever. What is your number one ColourPop product? Leave that in the comments below. But yeah guys, that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.